coming up on ABS. It's a revolution very few know about. Filmmaker Ashutosh Kuwarka brings the Chittagong Uprising to the big screen this week. We sit down with the cast and crew to talk about Kele Hamji Johnson. A Rahat Fateh Ali Khan melody is now the title of a new Madhur Bandarkar comedy. Ajay Devgan, Emran Hashmi, and three idiot scene stealer Omi Vedia star in Dilta Bacha Hedji. You've seen the video, now see Katrina's sexy moves come to life. Join Farah, Vishal, and Shaker as they create the item song of the year. 2011 sees the return of Dharmender, Sunny, and Bobby to the big screen. The family reunites for an all-out comedy that'll have you in stitches. We've got your first peek at Yamla Pagla Divana. Only ABS can take you on the sets and behind the scenes of this winter's big movie about wedding planners. Yashraj Films rolls out the band Baja Barat on December 10th. So the buck stops here when it comes to real basic excitement. You've seen the rest, now it's time to plug into the best. Hi, I'm Anushka Sharma. Watch the lead place on Band Baja Bharat right here on AVS. From our world headquarters in North America, this is AVS. Monday Mataram. Relive a great battle for freedom that many haven't even heard of. Hey everyone, I'm Joya Das. Ashutosh Gwarkar's new movie is based on real people and real events. Kele Hamji Johnson rekindles the glorious Chittagong Armory raid from British India of the 1930s. Well, I found most inspiring aspect of the uh, entire rebellion is that it had about 59 teenagers who participated in it, who were actually uh, introduced by Surya Sen. I find that very fascinating. I, I think that, you know, kahan gaye wo log? almost I feel that and I am fascinated with that aspect. And I thought it very important to bring it to screen. Kalpana Datta and Preeti Lata were the only two women uh, who were uh, part of the main group of the revolution. And um, Kalpana was uh, highly educated and she used that uh, to help out in the revolution in the form of making bombs, in planning of the entire attack and things like that. Preeti Lata, of course, she was a very independent girl, educated, uh, fierce and um, it wasn't easy to play the role because uh, as a person I'm a very happy, jovial, carefree person and uh, but you know when you play a character of that era there are certain mannerisms involved. Um, you, people were a little more calm and composed even though she was, uh, Preeti Lata was a very fierce woman. Uh, so I, in, in that context I had to just follow Ashwisa's vision. If you ask me whether, how those two girls together as friends, how they were in that time, I would say they were like these two. You know, they the kind of uh, zeal and the feastiness that they both have brought to their characters to play these two parts, I think is superb. <laughs> Although I've known Ashu for a very long time, from before I became an actor also, uh, actually from when he was an actor, I, as I'm pretty sure most actors in our industry have this one wish to work with Ashutosh because um, of the work that he does and the work that he has done and the respect we have for him as a director. So um, there's always been this, this desire to work with him. So I was very excited when I got the opportunity to work with him. <laughs> A preparation for the role, um, I think it was more a mental pre uh, preparation. Uh, but I must say that a lot of the homework was already done by Ashu sir because when you pick up something that's a part of history and you decide to make a film on it, you have to have your facts correct before you even decide to make the film. Uh, my favorite songs have of course been I'm, I'm partial to Nain Tere because for me the songs uh, they have the same uh, 
soulfulness and the innocence of the songs we had in the in the 1940s and the 50s they're evergreen i think there's two songs that i really like one is the vande matram that we've all heard and also our uh, song nen tere jhuke jhuke kyu hai ye bata nen tere jhuke jhuke kyu hai ye bata koi to hai man mein tere hum se sakhi na chupa but for me music uh, for any film the songs uh, definitely need to do one very important thing is keep taking the screenplay ahead uh, enhance the existing emotion of the scene and take it to a level where just dialogue cannot so song for me is an extension of that dialogue tujhko hai kaise ye pata tere hi to ne Uh, my favorite track is um, the title track actually khele hum jeevan se i think it's got a huge patriotic fervor to it and uh, um, it's something which you feel like singing very easily and i really think it sets the tone for the film i think it's it's sad that a lot of these important revolutions were were completely missed out if i had not been a part of this film i would never know uh, that the chittagong uh, uprising even existed by ashutosh making this film we have managed to to pay tribute and pay homage to people that unfortunately have been forgotten in history and um, pay tribute to their sacrifice and and thank them um, for doing what they did so that we could enjoy our today in freedom the purpose of the film was to make famous this untold revolution and make famous all the uh, krantikaris all the revolutionaries who participated in this it's been 80 years since the revolution happened it's never too late and this is a way of saluting them after 80 years jalam sitalam padayata sitalam sasya shamalam motaram vande He did with Lagan and Joe Dakper. Ashutosh Gawarka revisits history with Kale Hamji Jansay. It's based on the novel called Do and Die. Recall Ashutosh's last film, What's Your Rush? He was a major letdown at the box office. After the break, we find out if he redeems himself with fans. It's a good epic uh, saga which has been displayed correctly. It's not like a typical Hindi movie. 